see you a lot on the red carpets and uh, we admire your style. I do. I don't know about everybody else, but I know I do. So, uh, tell me, do you have a personal style? How would you define your style? Do you have what well, stylist or style yourself? And who right now is your biggest fashion icon? Uh, I'm a very big fan of the Nigerian industry right now and uh, for me when it comes to style, the first thing that comes to my mind is comfort uh, and then it depends on how I really feel. Some mornings you wake up and you really feel like dressing up. There's some days you wake up and you can't be bothered. I mean I'm on the radio so it doesn't really, you know, I'm not supposed to, my wardrobe has little or nothing to play in uh, getting up to go to work. But some days I wake up, I throw on a pair of leggings, a pair of high heels, and um, talking about stylists in Nigeria, let me see, quite a number of them, quite a number of them that I really think are really good. Lucy uh, is amazing. I think she's an amazing stylist. Um, Toyin Lawani, Tiana's place as well, is quite amazing. And she is my stylist as well. So lots of the red carpet looks that you have seen. 70% uh, Toyin Lawani. And uh, maybe ten percent me, five percent you know different styles yeah. here and there. So, so on a typical day when you were lazy, what do you settle for in your wardrobe? The person who invented leggings, big shout out to you. They are so comfortable. Uh, I I I got off my addiction to jeans. Like they're yeah. so uncomfortable to wear now. And I realized how you can just draw on. You can make it stylish. You can draw on like leggings and a big top, or you know you, you just. Whatever works for you, wear heels with it, go on flats with it, it depends on how you feel, really. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, moving on. One question everyone's dying to know, and I'm just I'm asking for my friend actually, is Tokyo Makinwa single? Um, Tokyo Makinwa is a brand. Tokyo Makinwa is also a human being. So I don't know which one of them you ask. Are you single? Oh, the human being or the brand? The, the brand human. is very much single. <laughs> the human being, I don't know. I don't know. I... Okay. Are you single? Uh, well, no, I'm not single. Okay. Okay. So I noticed you're very active on Twitter, and um... is that a good thing? The... <laughs> Could be. Depends on what you're tweeting. To be honest. So, so what do you think about my tweets? I interview people quite, for anything. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Quite okay. interesting. So I was wondering if you do it as part of your job, do you think you have to do it or you do it because you love tweeting? How do you find the time to actually tweet all the time? Um, I think it's 50-50. I do have to say that uh, the kind of job that I have, obviously, obviously, uh, people tune into the radio to listen to you. And I realized that it's so funny how your word is what they hold on to. You know what I mean? And then when you sign off, you have people tweet at you, and uh, you know they kind of see you as someone that they know and as a personal friend and that's why I don't like to call people fans because you know for me it's it's more of the job it's it's my job to stay informed it's my job to obviously you know tweets tweet about anything you know this is how I feel today this is not how I feel tomorrow um, prior to me being on the radio I didn't tweet as much as I do now and sometimes the hours that I tweet the most are in the morning when I'm at work. So yeah, it's more a work thing. But I love the leisure part as well. Okay, uh, speaking of your friends, or fans, friends, fans, whatever you choose to call them, um, how do you deal with the male friends? They actually well behaved. I have You've never had a male it. fan stalk you um, at any point in time? I think they're more, the thing with working on the radio is people look up to you is more, I mean, you have people write you loads of emails saying, I want you to listen to at some point, this is what they were going through in their life, and you know, you said this one thing, or you said that one thing, and you know, it inspired them. And it's more, they, they, I have to give it to my friends and my fans, shout out to you guys. Um, they're well behaved, the guys on them, they do not try to uh, come into my personal space. You know, they never ask me off of personal questions, it's more compliments, more asking, you know, is this really happening, is that really not happening, it's never really, uh, oh my god, I love you, I must have you, or you must marry me, or, no, it's never, it's never happened like that. Okay, um, apart from, of course, sharing your personal life on radio and getting people to relate to you and love you, how have you influenced people with your job? Uh, the thing is, um, one person... I don't see things we do for charity or things we do to help other people. When we talk about it, it completely takes away from, you know, that which we do. 
you know what I mean? So I'm not the first person who would come on here and give you... I was once a girl who had no shoes, who never walked, who never dated anyone, and you know, and now I help the guy on, I just said I don't want to pay his school fees, or I help this person. What I do for people who, you know, come up to me to ask me for help, or come up to me to ask me to inspire them, is between myself and the person. So, you're not going to get a sub story from me. There's not going to be a sad story or sub or whatever. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, Noble Igwe, 360 degrees, yes. Noble. I love Noble. Who else? I see everyone as my friends. Let me see, celebrity crush. Nigerian or...? Yeah, because recently you had an interview with Banky W and people suspected there was a little flirting going on, so... I saw that. P people, people were saying stuff there, or oh, you guys might have something going on, or maybe had something going on, so... Do you, was there anything going on between you and Banky W? No. Can you tell us right now? No, I've not... Have you ever had anything to do with Banky W? No. Do you have plans of doing anything with Banky W? No, you mean like said B? <laughs> Unfortunately, I will not be setting P with Mr. W. Uh, we have... Uh, we're good friends, that's just what it is. What celebrity would you like to set me with? If you could. Maybe because I'm, you know, I've, I got on radio or I got into this business. I was already in a relationship. So when I meet people, I, it's not one of the first things I think about. So I, I don't see guys and think, oh, if I was single, I'd probably love to be this person. Just think person on Twitter about yourself. Uh, lately, it's been quite a lot. Let me see. Um, I don't even know what's outrageous. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Just the usual insults. You know, someone just saying "tokamakwa," "fuck you," just because. I think that's outrageous. How do you react to them when you see them? I take the high road. Like for me, I'm I'm not. I used to be a very confrontational person, but I realized I think the age comes the. I don't want to say wisdom, but then, I mean, I know that half of them do not mean what they say or, you know, they are obviously probably searching for attention. Whatever it is, I read it, I laugh, uh, sometimes I don't, and I just move on, I keep it moving. Okay, so speaking of Twitter and the internet, um, recently you were involved in some huge controversy <laughs> on the internet. I'm not going to name names now, but then um, someone made a statement, someone misquoted you, should I say. Uh, what exactly happened? How do you know I was misquoted? What if I said it? <laughs> I can leave the three sides to a story. So right. I'm, I'm waiting to hear your side. So uh, the thing is, me. I do, first to start with, I'd like to apologize to all the people that follow me and uh, all the, I, I don't like to use the word fans. I call them my friends, people that I've met on this journey. Uh, lots of them wanted to hear what really happened, what my side was. And uh, I'll say this now and I'll say this uh, and I hope that it would, you know, it would probably make up for not saying anything. I'm not someone to rise up to, you know, negativity or respond to. I mean, it was taken out of context. That much I would say. Uh, I was trying to promote the reading culture, which we do not have anymore in Nigeria. And uh, I am a radio presenter. It's my space. It's my radio show. And I also believe that it's an opportunity to also impact. Uh, positively in the lives of my listeners. It's an early morning show. Uh, it's not totally entertainment. Uh, sometimes you have to go business, sometimes you have to talk about politics, uh, sometimes education. And on that particular morning, uh, we're talking about the reading culture. I think we spoke about Animal Farm. I miss the days when we had Macbeth. Uh, All I wrote means gods are not to blame. Uh, Wally Shoring has poems. And you know, it, it was. It is a cause of worry. I worry about the future generation that is to come because I realize that, myself included, you know, would rather take up that casual gist sides or, you know, the media takeouts of today, the YBF, the Perez Hilton and the Linda Cages. It's not something condescending. I, I, I do not, you know, I don't know her. I've never met her before in my life. Uh, and um, we don't run in the same circles. We're not friends. So it's nothing personal. So when I saw that, I thought, Hmm. They are obviously trying to make this a personal issue, which is not. You know, I wasn't contacted to ask if it was true, if it wasn't true, how it happened, how... I, I just moved on. It was funny. I, I, I took the joke. I saw it as a huge joke, first to start with, and, um, you know, I do believe that there, there is something 
and that I do not know yet what it is. But maybe we can find out together. You know, I, I'm someone who everyone loves AIDS, and it's so funny because, um, you know, I'm a regular girl. Um, your girl next door, and you know, I have regular friends, I have a regular job, and, um, and that's all I will say for now. So. <laughs> if the other party involved were to work in here now, right now, how would you react? I'm not even going to look bad. Like, I don't know her. What does she even look like? You don't want to step up to her and maybe, you know, find out exactly why she did what she did? Or um, why? she's... Uh, no. You see, people... We're all... This is a business. Showbiz is, is, is a business, you know. You know, I, I have a job. She has a job to do. Uh, her job involves writing about, you know, stories, politics, sports, gossip, which, you know, if you sign into her sites, uh, uh, you see celebrity juice, lifestyle, and gossip work. So, at the end of the day, you know, it wasn't something condescending, so there's nothing to talk about. There's absolutely nothing to talk about, as far as I'm concerned. Who are your top five female role models? That's so funny. Could be That's Nigerian. There. Linda <laughs> Kitchen is one of them. Shout out to you. Um, yeah. Oh, again, Nikhil Chanel. I, I do love Nikhil Chanel. Uh, who again, three spots to go. Who do I look up to? Who am I from? Nigerian, he said. Could be Nigerian. Um, okay, I love Oprah Winfrey. Uh, okay. I, I, I do want to have a talk show eventually. I love Ellen DeGeneres as well. And Victor Beckham. 